Hello guys, today I want to share with you how to upload VHD disk to Azure portal and deploy a new VM from that disk. This information is part of how to configure storage for Azure VMs chapter presented in skill measured AZ103 and AZ300. Uh, to mention that this chapter has a lot of info and I decided to split in several parts. As usual, before beginning, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for upcoming videos, as well ask a question if something is not uh, clear. Okay, depending on your infrastructure, you will need to prepare a VHD disk. So, if you have a Hyper-V infrastructure, this is quite easy. You will upload the disk and that's it. But if you have a VMware infrastructure where your VMs have VMDK files, First step is to convert uh, to VHD because uh, Azure doesn't support VMDK files. So how? There is a lot of software that allow you to configure this, uh, this part, but Microsoft came up with a solution named Virtual Machine Converter. Uh, why Microsoft and not the third party solution? Because, because Microsoft Virtual Machine Converter is coming because Microsoft Virtual Machine Converter is coming with PowerShell model that allow you to automate uh, automate conversion and combine them with data center automations workflows and if you have a lot of VMDKA files it's a perfect tool to do it. So let's start with the first step conversion of VMDK file to to VHD. Uh, okay, first of all, we need to download and install uh, Microsoft Virtual Machine Converter. Okay, just download and install it. Uh, after installation, you can use a graphical interface. I already prepared here the commands in PowerShell. So first is to import this model that is hosted here in this path. Okay. Once this model is uh, imported, use the command below: convert to MVMC virtual hard disk. And this parameter is used to specify the 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 path to VMDK file. Uh, next uh, next parameter is a VHD type dynamic hard disk. Next one VHD format VHD and the destination where this disk should be exported. I mean uh, VM Win Storage 01 dot VHD. So let's execute this. Let's check. Usually this uh, conversion takes some time. How much time is needed to convert a VMDK to VHD? That is a difficult question to answer. This process doesn't consume a lot of memory or CPU. So let's wait until this conversion will be done. So the conversion is done. The next step is to upload this uh, VHD file from this computer to to a blob in Azure storage account and uh, you can do this uh, in two ways let me select my storage account go to containers and just upload select your file select your file and that's it as well uh, you can do this from CLI using az vhd and use destination parameter local path parameter where our vhd is stored at this moment resource group and uh, and from my point of view uh, you have an advantage here because uh, this command is coming with uh, this parameter number of uploader number of uploader threads and you could benefit from wider band to copy your data I will use this way to copy my VHD disk to Azure Blob. But before 
execute this one let me connect to my um, storage let me connect to my uh, Azure account sorry okay I am connected to my uh, Azure account now I can easily execute this one uh, what I have to mention here before uploading this file to Azure this uh, cryptographic hash function is being calculating something for this file after that the file will be uploaded guys please have a look what the speed I have here it's about 150 megabits per second so actually it's a good speed okay my file is uploaded to to Azure Blob here we can see the lapse time for operation where this cryptographic function is uh, calculating the hash for this file and uh, ellipse time for uploading this file it's about uh, 13 minutes this file has uh, 14 uh, gigabytes so it's pretty good the connection between me and the um, Azure portal okay the next step is to define variable for new VM I already did this and all the commands here will be presented in the description uh, of this video so you can use it for your tests or migration of your projects so let me fed first execute this one here I have um, the resource group name that is already presented in my Azure portal the destination of VHD file that were copied five minutes ago is this one and the URI can be copied from here okay let's go back to Visual Studio Code virtual network name that uh, as I said already is already presented in my Azure portal location where our VM will be deployed as well the same location as uh, our disk where, where it is copied in, uh, in storage account the next one it's virtual network information where we can get uh, basic information from uh, from this uh, virtual network okay let me execute as well this one okay and um, the next variable uh, is to create a new network adapter to attach a new network adapter to our VM and here we have uh, a name of our interface a resource group location subnet ID if you don't know the subnet ID so you can use it from uh, from this uh, variable virtual network so let me execute this one and here we have a subnet this one subnet and use this this path to subnet ID parameter and um, two additional parameters here a configuration name and uh, then a server okay before deploying um, our VM we need to know the sizes that are presented in our location West Europe so use uh, get AZ VM size and the location so before doing this let me execute this one because I didn't okay let me do this as well So I will use this one, standard BM MS, and you need to define the size of your VM here. As well, don't forget to add the name of our VM. So AZVM application test 004 let's execute this as well 
Okay, the next step, uh, the next variable is to define the disk configuration. I mean, is to attach this disk to to this machine, where it will be deployed in uh, in a few seconds. So here we have set a Z VM OS disk. We have VM configuration, the name of our disk, VHD URI, VHD destination, and some parameter here like create option, attach, and uh, what kind of operating system we have here, Windows or Linux. So let me execute this as well. So let's attach um, our network interface that were created here to VM config variable. We need to attach network interface ID. Okay. And the last step uh, is to deploy a new VM with all configuration that were made uh, above. Before doing this, you can check this variable to verify the consistency of this uh, variable. As you can see, we have uh, a VM name, we have VM size, we have networking, and uh, and the OS disk that will be attached in in a few seconds. So this is a final command that is deploying our VM. So let's get started. So this process will take several minutes. We'll be right back after the deployment of this uh, machine. Okay, so let's check if everything is okay. First of all, let me check if this VHD is... Yes. Acquire is So this means that this VHD is attached to, to our VM. So let me check in virtual machine the status. As you can see the status of our machine is uh, running. So let's reboot this VM to check if everything is okay and if the VM will have status running again. So now the machine is deallocating. So as you can see the status is deallocated, stop. So let's start again. Okay, let's check the disk source. As you can see, the name of disk is as we were defining in uh, in our script. And the VHD path is the same where we have uploaded this VHD. Let's check again the status of this VM. As you can see, it's running again. So it's too early to check the boot diagnostic because it's not updated yet. But everything is working. So, okay, guys, this was all information that I want to share with you in this video. I'm sure that uh, many things have not been mentioned here. But if you have a question, don't hesitate to ask me via comments of this video. I will help you with pleasure. If you find the uh, information for today useful, please subscribe to upcoming videos. And uh, see you next time. Bye.